Today we'll be introducing pulleys. This will be important for solving the questions in quiz two of this week. A pulley is a simple machine that makes use of a wheel and a rope. The rope can also be a cable or a chain. The most common use for pulleys is for lightening loads as they are able to change the magnitude and direction of an applied force. The two images below are examples of some ways pulleys can be used. One thing to note is that the rope will always act in tension and the magnitude of the tension force will be the same across the entire length of the rope. It might make more sense to see this visually, so let's work out the free body diagrams for each of these figures. For the first figure on the left, we have a force T1 going to the left since it's attached to the wall and another downward force T1 from the load. Since the load is the only force acting on the rope, we know that the force T1 is equal to the weight of the load. As for the figure on the right, we have two upward forces we'll call T2, and they will both be equal to half of the weight of the load, since the load is the only applied force on the system, and it is acting opposite of the two ropes. Here we'll take a look at a short example of a system with a pulley. We won't be solving for the support reactions, but we'll work out the FBD. And if you'd like, you can solve it on your own for extra practice. I'd suggest pausing the video here and try on your own to draw the FBDs for both the beam and the pulley. Let's start with the most obvious forces, which are on the beam. We have the support reactions at A, which will be AX and AY, since it is a pin connection. We also have the 200 Newton load at D. Now let's add the tension forces from the rope strung over the pulley. These will follow the direction of both ends of the rope, and we know that the tension in the rope is the same along the entire length. And this also applies to a rope on any angle. So we can simply write T or whatever variable you'd prefer to use. As for the FBD of the pulley, again, we have the two ends of the rope, which will be in tension. And so we can draw them in the opposite direction of what we used for the beam since our system is in equilibrium and these are internal forces that will sum to zero. And don't forget, we need to add the support reactions for the connection between the pulley and the ceiling. So we'll add reaction forces EY and EX. The main takeaway from the short lesson is that whenever a pulley is involved in a problem, the rope will be in tension and regardless of the angle between both ends of the rope, the magnitude of the force will be the same along the entire length. 